Wow! Look at all these chickens! Look at all those chickens! What is up guys? Welcome to another video. So today we're gonna do another village kind of walk. Um, this is actually not like in a village. This is like the main road uh, within a village. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you some stuff. So let's start. All right then, as always, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel because it helps me out tremendously. If you can share the video, that would be awesome. Leave a thumbs up as well. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, you can do it here with this QR code. If you want to donate in other ways, you can do it on PayPal and you can do it through Patreon as well. Now there is one interesting thing about these restaurants here. Uh, same as the other video that I did. Um, you know, I'm shooting everything on the same day, so that's why I'm wearing, you know, the same football shirts and all sorts of things. Um, so the interesting thing about these restaurants is that it's so remote people need to come outside from the restaurant to flag the cars down and try to try to take people into their restaurants and um, yeah that's um, that's rather interesting I mean I was just parking a bit further down the road and from both restaurants they were like waving their hands at me to to go to their restaurants and park there so they can get some customers and uh, once I get a bit closer to those restaurants I will turn the camera around and you guys can hopefully see what I mean and um, you know it was a little bit surprising so um, yeah it's um, it's very remote it's very small here uh, very countryside but uh, you know this is still China and um, you know like I said in my other video you know not everything is about skyscrapers and shopping malls and Louis Vuitton bags so um, yeah, I like to walk around here. Like I said, I like to embrace the culture fully and not just live in, you know, a freaking bubble. All right, let's turn this camera around. There you have it. So um, hopefully the sun is not too bad and it's not shining into the lens too much. But um, yeah, you can see, you know, there are some restaurants down there on the other side as well. Uh, some of them are closed. So um, yeah, and it's same as the other one that I showed you guys the other day. Um, you know, most of these restaurants, they are serving fish um, as their speciality because the lake is so close and there are so many fishermen here that uh, they can just go out, you know, fish all day and uh, bring back the, uh, the fresh produce basically I can see a very funky looking car here with no roof um, I'm gonna take a take a shot of this this is uh, this is funky so, um, I mean nobody's nobody's using this by the looks of it but um, yeah it's an old uh, Volkswagen I think it's a Jetta maybe maybe a Polo I think it's a Polo. It's an old. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, by the shape, I think this is an old Volkswagen Polo. Uh, somebody cut the roof off it, <laughs> but it looks uh, it looks funky. So um, yeah, and you know, you just need to appreciate the little things like this one. You know, try to find uh, happiness in the little things. You know, I love cars myself, so that's why i can appreciate something like that even if it's just you know a rusty piece of shit basically but i still appreciate it wow look at all these chickens look at all those chickens and they go there are literally no cars coming this way uh, you know, this, this always happens when you want to film something, like you get prepared for it and you want to film something and you're like ready to shoot and, um, you know, the thing that you want to film just disappears or it doesn't appear. And um, yeah, anyway, that's the restaurant then there where the, where the people are sitting outside and that's the one that tried to, you know, get me into their restaurant because I was parking down there by that red sign. And, um, yeah. yeah there's some cars coming maybe they're gonna flag these people down or try to flag them down I don't know we'll have a look
So nobody wants to flag these people down to go into their restaurant. Maybe they wanted to flag me down because I'm driving, you know, a bigger car. So they thought they can get more money out of me. I don't know, man. It's a bit unfortunate that I couldn't get any footage of that, but I have a plan B. So um, hopefully that's going to work out. I will jump back into my car. I will drive past them slowly and uh, I will try to record that one and see what happens. They there's another restaurant down here so um, as you can see it's totally empty there's literally no people in it but um, yeah I mean it, this is a very like remote place so you don't expect a lot of people to to come here just for food so um, yeah I, I, I can totally understand why some of that some of the restaurants would close down because they just simply don't get enough customers oh there you go an old freezer I was actually looking to buy a new freezer uh, maybe I'll just take that one Yeah, this is another empty restaurant that is closed. As you can see, there are you know, no chairs, no nothing inside anymore. Only the tables, the empty tables. Yeah, this is another restaurant that is closed down and uh, by the looks of it it's abandoned so let's have a look inside trying not to break my legs yeah it's uh it's abandoned like there's literally nothing nothing here yeah walls are you know, falling down ceilings coming down as well yeah, I mean, better be careful so nothing falls on my head and doesn't kill me, basically. Um, yeah, I guess that used to be the kitchen part. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to go further than that. There used to be like a bar thing, probably toilets down there. I'm not going to go further than that because that ceiling looks looks like it's on its way out so um yeah yeah this one used to be a restaurant by the looks of it and it just got abandoned so it's a little bit unfortunate you know uh, let's have a look on the outside as well yeah there you go this one used to be one and it's abandoned basically you know there are some phone numbers and signs on it but I don't think anyone's gonna come here to to pick this one specifically. Obviously there's a petrol station well, gas station call it whatever you want we Brits we call it a petrol station all right then let me turn the camera around for you guys all right then guys and that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it this was another you know village walk um, if you enjoyed this video please make sure that you like comment share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one